If you're building a no-code app powered by AI in Bubble and you're currently using OpenAI, then it's time to get serious about Anthropic's Claude model uh, because a few days ago, they released the PDF support beta. Now, I know OpenAI has had a number of different ways of supporting, uh, like submitting files into your calls, but now you can do so with Claude. And many people are still saying that Claude 3.5 Sonnet uh, is still the most powerful AI model out there, at least uh, that we developers can get our hands on. Uh, so here's their documentation. I'm in uh, on Anthropic, I'm under PDF support, and uh, we can scroll all the way down. You've got certain limitations here, like file size. Uh, you have to use a particular model. Uh, there we go, called Sonnet. Uh, and then it gives you uh, an example for uh, Shell of how you can connect to the API. Now, this is going to, at least for me, thinking, well, well how does this really fit in with Bubble? How do I connect this in with the Bubble API connector? That's what I'm gonna show you in this video. But before I go on, uh, we've got an amazing Black Friday sale on. We've literally got hours and hours, hundreds of videos, all to help you learn Bubble, and you can click the link down in the description now to get a hold of our uh, early Black Friday sale. Um, so let's take this and break it down. This bit here looks fairly similar if you've worked in the Bubble API connector with any AIs like Claude or OpenAI. Uh, and then this bit here too looks very similar uh, to what you may be used to. So let's head over to the Bubble API connector because there's a number of tips and tricks that uh, it's just going to save you loads of time because I've been through them this morning and worked out what works. So here they come. Um, so I'm in the Bubble API connector and uh, I've added in a new API and I've called it Claude PDF. And this is all very familiar. It's what you'll have done before. You've got, you replace the key name with uh, X API key and you make sure that it is private key in header. You then make sure that you've got the shared headers uh, that it insists to make the PDF support, which is in beta work. So we've got uh, Anthropic beta, PDF, and we've got Anthropic version. Uh, just as a reminder, I'm getting those from, from here. Uh, and putting them in, so H for header, they're going in the header of my message. Uh, it's then a post request, uh, does it make it clear here? Well, I mean, it's got a data section, so yes, post, and you send it to this endpoint. So that's how I've connected it all up so far. I'm then gonna take everything that it says to send in this part here. Notice that I'm getting the curly brackets in, but I'm not getting the speech marks in, and I'm copying it all in, because we need to insert our PDF in base 64, that's basically converting a PDF uh, file into a long string of text that can be, I suppose, decoded back into a PDF. Uh, so we copy all of that expression uh, into the API connector. And here's where it gets tricky because, uh, well, I'll explain why and then it's very apparent which is that we make this dynamic because we need to uh, take our PDF file, convert it to base64. I believe you can do that without a plugin in Bubble. Uh, it's just a, um, it's a modifier that you can add onto a file. Uh, I'll probably do a follow-up video to show you just how we can link this in with like a file uploader and a button and display the text. But right now, just because it's tricky, I'm focusing on the API connector. Because uh, if you just Google PDF to base64, here's just the first site I found. So I uploaded the PDF. And then as you can imagine, like a single PDF is a lot of text. But if you upload just even if it doesn't look big, it's not a big PDF in terms of file size, but if you upload any PDF uh, to get some base64 to initialize your API call, and it is more than just like a simple uh, page with a paragraph of text on it, then you'll find, or at least I have, I mean, I'm running on like a, I've got a MacBook Air M2, uh, I, I am using a Chromium browser, but pasting all of that text into this field here, in fact, you can already see it's getting a little bit jittery, um, yeah, you want to make sure that you initialize your call with a PDF that is very, very simple so that you can initialize the call. Uh, and in fact, yeah, look, I'm getting, um, uh, I'm getting an issue with Chrome because I've pasted so much text into that box. In my experience, this isn't an issue uh, using in workflows in Bubble. It is only an issue at this point here. So let's exit the page, uh, refresh the tab. 
and uh, I'll just try and get it to a point where I was successfully able to initialize it. But my, my point is that if you, yeah, if your PDF is anything other than the simplest PDF, uh, then you won't be able to initialize the call. I mean, I suppose one option is that you could just initialize it with text and then you could add in, um, uh, you add in the rest of the call later on and then not reinitialize it. Uh, but notice here that this is my prompt. So I'm just saying summarize the document and I'll click reinitialize call. And so now this is sending over that base 64 PDF. It's sending over the summarize this document. Uh, and hopefully, yep, this will work. So I literally just found the most boring PDF that I could find. It was from a company that works with PDFs offering some sort of sample document. There we go, and it's given me my sample back. So that's it, that's how you can use the new uh, Claude PDF support that is in beta. This is the workaround for working with base64 files in the Bubble API connector. And yeah, I'm gonna record a follow-on video where we actually put this with a file uploader on the page convert the file into base64 and get our summary back and of course you could use any prompt you want if you've got any comments please leave them below as i love answering your questions and i'll see you in the next one